Hello everybody and this is Nizzy with Nizzy Sports Chat. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. We are going to be covering the Toronto Raptors new signing Freddie Gillespie, uh, the big man center coming from the uh, Memphis Hustle, Memphis's G League team there. He's an undrafted uh, free agent. So uh, Raptors went and picked him up to basically get some rebounding help inside. Um, obviously we're pretty short on the big men here and Aaron Baines just has not been uh, what we expected from him this year. Especially with the departure of Marcus Gasol and Serge Ibaka, we've been really lacking that uh, center depth. And unfortunately, Chris Boucher just isn't quite big enough and beefy enough to be able to um, to bring that inside presence to be able to be able to bring down all those rebounds that we need because we're the worst rebounding team in the league right now, which is just atrocious. Um, so hopefully, Freddie Gillespie is going to help us out here. He's averaged ten points, ten boards during the fifteen games he played in the uh, in the G League bubble this year. So we'll see how he does for us. If he can even bring down 10 boards and get four or five points a game for us, that is if Nick Nurse gives him any time on the court. Um, be greatly, greatly needed for the Raptors right now with uh, no presence inside the paint. So, I mean, we're just getting out-rebounded like crazy. Um, so, yeah, if this guy can come in with some energy and help get some boards for us, man, I think that would help out a long ways. Just getting those extra shots, right? Like, we're just giving the other team so many more extra chances. <laughs> on our own end because we just cannot get our own freaking defensive rebounds. So I think it's a good pickup from the Raptors. Once again, it's one of those kind of dark horse players that, you know, no one really thinks too highly of them, but that's, you know, Raptors are real good at finding gems or diamonds in the rough, I should say. So hopefully Nick Nurse gives this guy a chance, especially we're going to have uh, just for the Bulls game tonight. I guess I'll give you guys a quick update. We will have five players out again. Uh, Freddie's still out. Kyle's out. Paul Watson's out. Um, Pat McCaw's still out. So, quite a few guys still missing on our uh, rotation there. So, I would definitely expect, uh, I would expect him to hopefully get some minutes tonight. I don't know for sure with all the COVID protocols as we just signed him and everything. I would assume if he's tested uh, negative, like, X amount of times that he's probably going to be able to be available to play tonight, especially because we are so shorthanded. Um, but you never know. Nick Nurse doesn't really like playing young guys either. So he's kind of stubborn that way. I mean, he's a great coach, but he is quite stubborn with his rotations and who he likes on the floor um, and certain matchups, right? Like if you look back to when we had Dante Hall and uh, Henry Ellingson, I mean, those guys got no playing time. I think Ellingson got a little bit more than Dante, but it was like in the fourth quarter of a one game, we're getting blown out by like 20 plus points. He's like, all right, let, let this guy have five or 10 minutes on the floor. Um, but other than that, like he hasn't given a shot on these guys on the 10 day contracts. They haven't gotten a chance. Obviously we aren't seeing the practices. So maybe they're just looking like dog water in practice. I don't know. It's completely plausible. Um, but yeah, I really hope this kid works out at least give us some rebounding help for till the end of the season. Um, he's only 23 years old, so he's still young. Um, you know, there's a good chance. There's a good chance that he can be a, you know, formidable player in uh, the NBA. One thing that really excites me about the guy, he's only six foot nine, but he's got a seven foot four wingspan. Seven foot four wingspan, okay? So this guy should definitely be able to block some shots and get some boards for us, even though he's not your traditional six ten or seven foot center. Um, he's more of like a power forward size, but he's got that wingspan to uh, play that center position. So anyways, guys, that's Freddie Gillespie. Just signed a 10-day contract uh, with the Toronto Raptors, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you think this is a good signing or the Raptors maybe should have, uh, went a different direction on maybe like a veteran free agent center in the market here today. But, uh, anyways, guys, this is Nizzy with Nizzy Sports Chat signing off and thank you guys for tuning in. Peace.